Good morning, doctor. Welcome to our home-like hospital birth conference. I have some questions for you. To begin with, would you please introduce yourself and uh, your facility? Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. My name is Sonia Pankova and I'm the chief uh, doctor at the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics in the hospital of Uherské Hradiště. The philosophy of our hospital is a natural, friendly, empathic approach and a professional approach at the same time. We have about 1,500 childbirth a year in our hospital. We have 20 beds in a postpartum department. We offer premium rooms as well for postpartum period. We have four delivery and labor rooms. Wonderful. Can you tell me what do you do to support healthy natural birth in your hospital? What we do is that we have a personalized approach to every mother-to-be. If the mother-to-be is interested, we show her around, we organize open house events, but during the pandemic it was not always possible, so we organize individual appointments only. We consult birth plans as well, and we have a respectful, personalized approach to every mother-to-be. Amazing. What is the most important factor for a natural, healthy birth, in your opinion? I think what is very important is the attitude of the staff, respect for the mother-to-be as a person. The accompanying person is also important. We welcome partners, we cooperate with community midwives who accompany our clients. And what is also important is for the woman to know the environment and to meet the staff beforehand. Do you think that what you offer differs from other hospitals in your region? Well, to be honest, I cannot tell what other hospitals in our region offer exactly. But as we have had many clients and the number keeps increasing recently, I think it is because we probably offer something extra. By which you mean the personalized approach and continuous care as well, I suppose. You mentioned cooperation with community midwives. I found that interesting. Would you please tell more about that? What we do is that we either have a contract with a midwife and in such case the midwife can manage the childbirth herself. If she doesn't have a contract with our hospital, we respect her as a doula and she can accompany the mother-to-be during labor and delivery. Which means that uh, midwives can manage or be active in childbirth themselves. Yes, but there is always medical supervision. However, it is all about communication. Doctors intervene as little as possible in childbirth. So it means that a doctor is there during the admission and during labor and delivery, right? Yes, every woman to be, every mother to be is examined by a doctor during admission, she goes through an ECG test and an ultrasound test and then she's transferred to the care of the midwife. If there are no complications during labour, it is managed more or less uh, by the midwife and the doctor observes from distance. And then the doctor gets involved in the second stage of labour and then after the delivery the doctor checks birth injuries. So it is not the midwife who catches the baby, is it? Yes, it is. The doctor is there, but the delivery is managed, the baby is delivered by the the midwife. 
The title of our conference is Home Like Hospital Birth. Is there anything like uh, family childbirths rooms that you offer or are you planning to offer this type of rooms? Our conference is intended for women who would give birth in a hospital but because they know that most of them apply routine procedures they prefer to give birth at home and if the hospital was more home-like then maybe the mother-to-be would prefer the hospital to giving birth at home. We have four individual birth rooms with their own uh, sanitary facilities, there are bathtubs, showers, toilets, so the mother-to-be needs not leave the room and go anywhere. During the delivery and labour she can stay in the room with the accompanying person and if she wishes to go home afterwards, if she wishes an ambulatory childbirth, it is possible if everything is all right. And if she brings her older child because she doesn't have a babysitter or wants to stay together with the family, is that possible? Yes, it does happen. It is not very frequent. But it does happen and we try to enable it. If the family has no babysitter, for example, then of course they bring it along. That was a very interesting description of what you do to meet the mother's needs. My question is, are there any challenges? Is there anything that uh, you find difficult from the part of the mothers? And are there any things that you would do differently, but uh, the health system or the law or the state doesn't allow it? There are challenges such as uh, vaginal birth after caesarean especially if there's a woman who has already had two caesareans. In line with our guidelines, a third caesarean should be autom done automatically in such case. But if the mother-to-be wishes to do a vaginal birth and we consider it safe for her and the baby, we try to do it if possible. What is also challenging is a breach presentation in vaginal birth. We, of course manage that but um, the cooperation of the midwife and the doctor and the mother-to-be is crucial. What I also meant is that some parents might have some requirements which are either unrealistic, objectively unrealistic, or which are very difficult to meet and you as doctors would choose another solution, a safer solution but then the woman might oppose such a solution. Are there situations like that? Yes, there are sometimes. There are, for example, anxious women, but then they can send me an email and then I always try to meet them beforehand and discuss their requirements beforehand. What is unacceptable for me is not to monitor the baby during delivery or labour in some intervals at least. We have also spoken to the Jemnez Rozeni Gentle Birth Agency focusing on hypnobirthing. Their trainers visited us and we spoke about what they do, how they prepare women for childbirth. What hasn't happened yet is to have some major conflict. We can always find a way together. So it's all about communication, right? Yes, absolutely for me, it's all about communication. Is there anything that I haven't asked about, but that you consider important in relation to the home-like hospital birth topic? Is there anything you would like to tell parents? I think that we have discussed uh, everything. I would like to emphasize, though, that uh, respect and mutual trust is crucial. Trust of the mother towards us and our trust in her that we will make it together. Great, amazing. That was quick. Thank you very much for your contribution.